Welcome parents to our grade 3 modules. We will have four modules for the year and we will start with module 1. Module 1 is the easiest because it's pretty much a review of grade 2. But as we go through the modules, it gets a little bit harder and harder. So we're hoping that through the series of videos that we will be showing to you, you will learn how to manage to teach your kids well. So let's begin with lesson one of chapter one. So if you remember in lesson one of chapter one in grade two, the kids were asked to be able to count. So now they have to count until 10,000. So the new addition would be a cube. Okay, so these cubes represent a thousand. Okay, then they had the big blocks, which were equivalent to one hundreds. And then they had the longer block, which were equivalent to tens. And then they had the single block, which were the ones. So the kids need to be able to skip count. Skip count thousands, skip count hundreds, skip count tens, and skip count ones. They also need to be able to write down words like they did in grade two. Difference is the numbers are now much bigger. So the problems will come from page 11 and I've selected two problems. Okay, problem number three says write in numerals. Okay, so the two problems I've selected are the first, it says write in numerals and it says 6,809. So therefore, this is 6,809. Okay, so the kids don't need to put commas. So let's not teach them to write with commas. Okay, so the next is we need to write in words. So this will be 2,000, and we put a comma after the 1,000, 300, and 80. Okay, so again, in Singapore math, they use the word and. So if in our countries, we don't use the word and, then we don't need to. However, if we're following the book, we need to follow as they teach, which means we need to use the word end. This concludes lesson one of chapter one. See you in the next lesson.